the boy who definitely has called him daddy all these years is no longer his son and he's completely not even in the picture not even discussed whatever but i would think that in the best interest of the children that boy shouldn't be separated from his sisters hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in today's video i want to discuss a bit of an update about nidu wazobia since we've already discussed this uh, particular topic before for just for anyone that does not know nidu wazobia is a nigerian comedian that um he was married and a few years down the road he found out that his oldest child is not his child and then the wife said or the ex-wife because they're no longer together the ex-wife said that um she ended the relationship and went into a relationship soon after with him and that when she found out she was pregnant she never knew that the baby is the the child of the previous guy that she was with so that's why their oldest child is not his she was even pregnant before they got married so they didn't know that that pregnancy was not his and then they have two other children in the marriage there are his children so they broke up and then the wife came on social media to drag him and say that he was not providing for the children and then at a point i know i shared that reply where he said to her that you know she's forgetting that the court gave him custody of the kids and she replied and said you know she's happy for him to take the kids let me actually read it the way she said it yeah this is he said oh did you cross your line around me i will enforce the judgment of the court i'm certain you don't know the kids were given to me in the judgment just continue i will always curse the day i met you and then she replied and said nedu you're not getting the point support by paying for their accommodation if you can afford it this is the only option i have I am ready to give you the children without the court order. Happy Sunday. So all of that, you know, happened in the past. So now the the news caption says, Nedu's paternity drama gets messier as police allegedly sees his two children from his ex-wife. And Punch newspaper captioned it, police sees two children from comedian Nedu's ex-wife hand them over to dad and then what got me was the comment people saying oh that serves her right yes that's the best way to deal with her yes she deserves it they're saying she 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 and i'm saying are people actually thinking about what about the children i'm coming back to the same thing i think a lot of people in our communities you know nigerian you know we, we have a long way to go not all of us but a lot of us have a long way to get go when it comes to prioritizing children i keep seeing these things i keep seeing it and i keep saying it as well that i always see the lack of focus on the children the important thing is for these children to be well fed well cared for and all of that the wife ex-wife have said you can come take them if you want he said he has the court order so she's happy to hand the kids to their father and the court order according to what he said is that he should have the children important thing is the welfare of the children if that is what they do would prefer to do than to provide for the children under their mother's care fine she has to have access so that that way the children are not missing their father and they're not missing their mother they're gonna have both parents in their lives that is very important and i really want to emphasize on that at the end of the day let adults do their drama or whatever the children are a priority they are the innocent one in all of this then on the other hand I'm surprised they gave him custody of his daughters obviously we can see that the boy is left out the boy who definitely has called him daddy all these years is no longer his son and he's completely not even in the picture not even discussed whatever but i would think that in the best interest of the children that boy shouldn't be separated from his sisters I i'm surprised at the judge coming to this kind of a conclusion when people put children first, they, when they say the best interest of the children first, those children should not have been separated because now there's so much messiness going on in their family life. One thing I can bet you is that children growing up together, at least they can always be like, we have each other. But now this son is separated from his sisters. I would have said that the best interest of the children would be for them to be with their mother because that way, all three children can grow up in the same house believe it or not these children are suffering the consequences of this and this is avoidable absolutely avoidable and i've made videos where i've talked about there's nothing people have not called that little boy 
They have caught him a lot. Like I said, people forget that he's an innocent boy. His mother was pregnant. You know, the baby, he belonged to another father. Not the father he grew up thinking is his father. And all of a sudden, there's so much happening around him. And adults on social media can make comments and write some terrible comments. You know, the bastard child. You literally not provide for the children because if he does, that bastard child is going to benefit from it and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, where is our humanity? Like, how, 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 like, that little boy, you can say whatever you want to say about your parents. That little boy does not deserve your insult. Does not. But anyways, going back to saying the best interest of the children, those two girls are going to be missing their brother. They won't be waking up in the same house with their brother. And that boy is separated from his sisters. I do not believe that is the best interest of the children at heart. Now, that aside, they decided what they decided. Because I'm saying it. You see, okay, let me say this because some people may not get where I'm coming from. I grew up in such a situation where my parents' marriage got so bad. But it got so bad where I can, the best way I can describe it is this. They hated each other more than they loved their children. Listen to that because it's a bit confusing. They loved their children. But their hatred for each other was more powerful, was consuming them more than the love they have for their children. Because when you focus on the love you have for your children, you will do it right by the children. Another mistake some people make is automatically thinking that children should not be raised by their father. It must be done by a mother. It's not necessarily true. But in this case, like I said, it would have been better for the kids to stay with their mother so that they can be under the same roof with their brother. So the siblings are not separated, so they can grow up together. That would have been nice. But I'm just saying generally, there are a lot of cases where fathers may not do a good job. Like I grew up with my father when my parents split up. Uh, my father didn't do homework and all those kind of things. My father, you know what they would say, in my language, they say, it won't be very detailed. You know, the tiny little things that my mother you would have the time for. Homework and all of those things and assignment and, you know, practicing your whatever with you. My father didn't do any of that. So men today do it. But assuming that automatically children cannot be raised by, well by a father, is not necessarily true. The only thing that I think is a, is a problem is this. If a man is raising those children and he marries somebody else, the chances of those children being mistreated under another woman is higher than if they were with their mother. Most of the time, women are naturally, I'm not saying fathers are, I'm just saying a lot of the time, women are more protective of their children a lot of the time. Not all the time, so I say, I'm not generalizing. But not only that, but if a woman is running a home, her eyes are there. She can see what's happening. But most of the time, the men go out and to make the money and they marry the new wife. They don't really know details of what is happening in the house. If those children are being mistreated in the home, he may not know it because he's absent, the breadwinner, da, da, da. but most of the time, because the woman is the one that looks after the home, her children are safe. Most women wouldn't necessarily, you know, we always hear about wicked stepmother. We rarely ever hear that much of a wicked stepfather. I'm not saying they don't exist. So that's one other area where, you know, it's okay. It's better for the children to be raised by their mother. But what I'm saying is that a father can also do a good job. If he wants to do it, he can do a good job. At the same time, now that he has the children, the so-called provide for the children, she doesn't need to cry over that anymore. That actually frees her up. To do something with her life she wants to go back to school she wants to you know get a new job or whatever it frees her up because now she has only one child to care for and then she can make more money and she can contribute as well but women always seen it as uh, you know women must hold on to the children sometimes this can be seen as a blessing but this will free her up to achieve other things with her life let me tell you guys raising children by yourself is not easy it's not easy. Going back to what I was saying about, you know, making the best interest of the children a priority. I do not know what judge made this kind of decision. But you see, we come from a country where if you're a famous person, because Nedu is famous in his own way, Nedu is kind of like a known person. He's a celebrity, you know, we have. If you're a celebrity or you're a famous person or you're a politician or you're a rich person, the chances of you winning is always higher in our society because honestly i do not know how a judge would decide to split up those children that i do not know because i do not believe that's the best interest of the children at heart but i don't want to dwell on all of that i want to focus on okay now he's keeping the children after this news came out people were beginning to kind of like oh you know people were People were coming for Nedu and said, okay, so you want to now do it this way? Why will you take the children? You should have let the children stay with their mother, blah, blah, blah. He came and he addressed it on his uh, Instagram. He said, uh, 
I am sad that once again, I need to clear the air on what I consider a private matter. But for the sake of all the parties involved, it is pertinent that I do so. Please let the following be clear to all journalists, blogs, news platforms, etc. One, contrary to the rumors being peddled around, I do take care of my children. I will continue to as it is my duty. Two, neither I nor the police forcefully took my kids away from my ex-wife. It was a unanimous agreement. Please feel free to read her handwritten statement and also see the bag with which she brought their clothes. Three, the children in question were taken to Oweri to leave for over a month without my consent or permission. My ex-wife took that decision without consulting me. I paid for the flight for her to go and bring them back to Lagos after it was agreed by all parties that it was better they were returned to Lagos, especially as the school in Lagos. Four, I am a person who believes in doing things the right way. And so far on this matter, I have stayed within the provisions of the law. A case was filed against my ex-wife for cyberbullying and other grievances. She was invited to respond and the matter is ongoing along custody resolution. And it goes on to say, I am tired of the sensational manner in which this news is being dispersed. I do not grant interviews or speak on the matter to the press. I would advise my ex-wife and her cousins, sisters, to follow suit. We are not dealing with inanimate objects here, but living and breathing beings who will one day deal with the consequences of this fallout. I truly want to continue to focus on my career, my family, and my life as I am not the first or the last person to have a failed marriage. And this is the picture he posted. So the first picture is the letter she wrote. This is basically a letter of the woman saying that, you know, um, she is handing her children to, to him. Another one is a flight ticket in which he shouldn't have posted her phone number um, online. I'll blur that out as well. And then the other one is a bag which she said is the bag that she used to bring their clothes. Sorry, something else I forgot to mention. Apparently, there's something else going on where they said Nedu is taking his ex-wife to court for cyberbullying because she came to social media to drag him for not providing for their children. People are now saying that he is intimidating her because he's a celebrity because she came out to voice out that he's not providing for the children. At the same time, you know, even the letter that this woman wrote, people are saying that believe that it was written on that durex. It's possible they told her, write this and all of that. Oh, something else I forgot to say. This is important. Now, why would the children need to even be, from what they were saying, she had to bring the children to the police station. I was like, why bring the children to the police station? Why didn't they just agree on a mutual ground to meet and hand the children over? Do you know what it is to take children to a police station? Do you know what that is? Why did they do it that way? That is wrong. This is why people feel like he is oppressing, you know, his ex-wife. Like I said, there are a lot of things that are being done that I, I hope, I hope that they'll be able to explain to their children when they grow up. Now, this whole handover shouldn't have been done this way. It should have been done gradually. They can go spend the weekend with their father. And then the next week, you know, increase it slowly so that it will be a gradual process for the children. Moving these children overnight from their mother, go to the police station to hand over children. It was too much. It can bring a shock to these children. All of this could have been avoided. Could have been avoided. Another thing now, he said, the wife's family and cousin and sister, they should stop putting on social media. The same sister that social media said, you know, there was a post going on that they said that her first son, she was pregnant for her sister's husband. The son, you know, that is not the husband's, that they said it was, it is her sister's husband that she slept with. That rumor was spreading. Now you can see from his whatever. He said, uh, I do not grant interviews or speak on this matter to the press. I would advise my ex-wife and her cousins slash sisters to follow suit. So the same sister that they said it is her sister's husband that she felt pregnant for is also in her corner to show that I told people, be careful what you believe on social media. You see me that I'm showing you receipts. It's not me. I'm showing you what is available. That aside, now when he said don't approach the press, you see, it may be hard for them not to approach the press and give information from their own side. He said he's not speaking to the press. He's not granting interviews. But the wife has granted interviews. And if you watch that interview, she was trying to explain her side. The stories that are going around, she claims are incorrect. She's trying to clarify. So I won't be surprised if her family decides to address the press or keep trying to clarify things because they are, they they believe that a lot of lies have been told about their sister 
They, they may keep doing that. I'm not saying they should, but I'm saying they may keep doing that. And at the same time, another thing that came to my mind, you know, he said I, uh, uh, all this thing that they said he was not providing for his children and all of those things. This guy, is, he seems to be good with receipts, right? But you find that this is me speaking from what I have observed. He seems to be good with receipts. Like even uh, um, other things he has produced, you can see he's good at producing receipts. But so far that he has been dragged or the ex-wife dragged him for not providing for his children. There has not been any, he has not really provided any receipts to say, oh, this is proof that I have been providing for my children. Oh, she just came to drag me on social media for no reason. She's lying and providing for the children. So meaning, you know, basically this woman just woke up and decided to come and drag him on social media, provide for the children, even though he was already doing it. You get it? So anyway, going back to all this whole thing and handing these children over at the police station, people don't think about the psychological effect of all of this on these children. That was all. Police station was so unnecessary. The children didn't need that. Separating from their brother is another thing that I do not know the psychological effect it may have on children. We don't know. It may, it may not. I will tell you, one of the things I actually think at this point those kids need is counseling. Especially that boy that the whole world, or well, not the whole world, especially that boy that people are dragging at the moment and his name is on social media. This boy has to go to school knowing that all these things have been shared about him, knowing him before as Nedu's son. And now these children, they are not kids. Nowadays, internet, these children are, there, are watching all these things. Parents know these things. These children, I mean, that boy is going to go to school and face his classmates with all this drama that he used to be Nedu's son, he's no longer Nedu's son, and then he's a, a boy that the internet is now calling a, a bastard. He is, you know, all of these things. I think these kids, the daughters and the son, they need counseling because these kind of things can cause a lot of psychological damage in the life of the children, emotional damage as well. There's just so much going on. I really hope they will consider that and go, get the children to go for proper counseling to help them deal with all of these things. Anyways, uh, this is my opinion that I have shared in this video. As always, you're free to leave your own opinions in the comment section below. And with that, I'm gonna say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.